in Smart Notebook, I can create sorting and matching activities on my own that have elements of interactivity. Here's how. We first go to the Add-ons tab and we choose Activity Builder. So essentially how this works is I've got to put a couple of master items on here that I want the kids to categorize things with. In this case, I'm going to choose a coniferous tree and a deciduous tree, two different concepts we've learned in grade six science. So I'm going to first go to my Google search, my Google image search. I'm going to choose, I know coniferous tree, uh, pine is an example, pine tree. And in my Google image search results, I'm going to go to tools because I want to use copyright free. So I'm going to choose ones that are labeled for reuse. I don't really need to modify it, so I'll choose labeled for reuse. I'm going to choose a pine tree. Okay, how about this one? So I'm going to copy that image and paste that image onto my smart notebook. Now to add text, it's very easy. I just double click on my screen and I'm going to say coniferous tree. All right, I'm now going to go back to my image search and choose a deciduous type of tree, perhaps an oak tree. All right, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in my notebook. resize it. Notice the little dot on the corner resizes that bad boy for me. And I'm going to type in, double click on the screen, start typing deciduous tree. Alright, so what are some types of deciduous and coniferous trees? Well, we've talked about four in class. Pine, spruce, oak, All right, so what I'm going to do is mix these up a little bit. And what I eventually want to happen is when I drag the words onto the proper one, uh, the proper term, it will accept it. But if I drag the word onto the incorrect category, it will reject it. Okay, so you first have to start with what's the item that represents uh, what you're dragging on top of. So I'm going to start with this and I'm going to edit. Now I have to choose which one of these other things on the screen do I want to be accepted and rejected. And I just drag them there. So check it out. So for coniferous, I want to accept pine and spruce. So drag pine, even though I dragged it over, look, it's still there. Now with the check mark. Spruce, same thing. I drag it over, still there. I want to reject oak, maple. And I will hit done for now. I'm going to do the same thing with deciduous. Edit. And I'm going to say which items do I want to accept or reject. So for deciduous, I want to accept oak and maple. And I want to reject pine and spruce. Done. And that's basically it. Now the activity is going to work such that when I drag pine onto deciduous, it's going to reject it. See, it popped back there. But if I dragged it onto here, it would disappear. And then I'm going to hit undo so it still works. And that is essentially how the Activity Builder works.